The all greenery reefs have become popular, and honestly, they're one of my favorite reefs. So today I'm showing you a reef that I made out of a leafy seeded bush and a baby breath bush. The leafy seeded bush has tips on it that look very fit, um, very similar to the baby breath bush that I used. And so I started just by alternating the leafy bush and the seeded bush and fluffing those out to make sure I had them the way that I wanted them. You have to fluff your greeneries and floral stems, give them a natural look. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm just kind of started by kind of alternating between the two. But then the baby breath bush was the longest bush. So I started sporadically adding it around the grapevine because I was going to use it to give my reef dimension to set my width and length. of my wreath. And so you'll see me moving around the grapevine. Again, I'm using the longest stem, which is that baby breath to set my wreath to the width and length that I want. I'm working on it an 18 inch round grapevine base but really if you want to add to that 18 inches you really can add length to that reef by elongating your stems past the grapevine and so that's what you see me doing It's a lot easier using a milk pot, but it's hot. And in my little small building, that milk pot will heat it up really quick. So I'm using my Ryobi glue gun. It is a battery powered glue gun. And if you don't have one, you need to get you one. But you have to be careful. It gets hot. Been burnt several times. So again, I'm continuing to work around the grapevine. Once, once I had put all the baby breath into place, then I went back to my leafy seeded bush and I started filling in gaps. The leafy seeded bush really did add texture to this wreath. And again, fluffing things out. You want them to kind of mix in with each other. Give it a natural look. Step back to look at the reef as a whole so I can figure out where the stems need to go. Try to make it as symmetrical as possible, but in nature, not everything is symmetrical, so if it's not identical on both sides, that's fine. It just makes it look more natural. These all greenery reefs are becoming very popular. They're very versatile, weather resistant. I really like them. Switch out the bows for the different seasons. They're simple. But it also allows your bow to be your statement piece, which says a lot. Again, you see me adding more stems, filling in spots.
now you'll see me adding a metal pin a metal pick to some of the stems that I want hanging from the bottom again to elongate the reef these grapevines sometimes um, are not very tight and so the metal pick helps it find a place to stick in and stay I cut some of the baby breath into smaller sections to just add here and there to fill in gaps so you see smaller pieces of baby breath that I'm adding now The baby breath is really realistic, really pretty baby breath. Um, and actually the tips of it look like little round balls rather than flowers, but they're just a really beautiful bush. I've used them in bouquets, centerpieces, reefs. Very beautiful, especially for a filler. hard to see the reef coming together I've got so much stuff behind it but you'll have a picture of the final product at the end Adding in a couple more pieces. I used several bushes of each one. I lost count on exactly how many. My shop's a little small, so now I'm clearing my space and getting my ribbons together so that I can make a bow this particular reef I used browns moss green and orange and so my base was a Swiss dot four inch ribbon and I have a bow maker but I actually don't use it the way it's intended to be used. I kind of eyeball my loops and I just use the bow maker to stack my loops on as I'm as I'm going. There's all kind of recipes to bows, but I've always eyeballed mine, measured them out in my hand, created them in my hand. I don't really follow anybody's one recipe for a bow. I kind of have my own little style. And once I have all the different colors that I want to use, I gather all the loops together and I'm going to use a zip tie to put them together but I always add to the back of it a piece of wire because that's what I'm going to attach it to the reef with is a piece of wire so I'm showing you all the loops gathered in my hand I've got my piece of wire attached to the back and then I'm going to put it all together with a zip tie once I pull it really tight, I'm going to cut the tail of that zip tie off. And I always like to pick one of the colors that's in the bow and 
just wrap around the center. That gives the center a bit of pop of color, but also hides that zip tie. Depending on how I fluff it on the reef, you may or may not see that center piece. So I want to make sure that what you're looking at is not going to be a zip tie. All right, and then it's to attach, just using the wire to attach it to the grapevine, which is sometimes easier said than done. Making sure it gets on there really tight, and then I'm gonna fluff the bow. I am a bow fluffer, so I really could stand here for hours fluffing the bow, but I'm gonna try not to. Just a few minutes of fluffing. You want to make sure every loop is fluffed out. All the tails are where you want them, and then once I get all the tails where I want them, then I begin to clip them off dovetail them clip them off and then I decided I wanted some more of this moss green you can add loops or tails just put you a metal pick cut it to the length add your metal pick and then stick that ribbon where you want it and it looks just like it was part of the bow part of the original bow I normally add some hot glue once I get everything where I want it just so that bow stays in place and then if you want to switch it out for the different seasons it's easy just give it a good tug pull you can still switch out the bows so make a couple more of those dovetails one last good fluff final result beautiful reef again with a seated leaf bush and baby breath isn't she beautiful